So let's see ASCII values. Now if we talk about ASCII, so ASCII is the number representation of a character. So let's say on your keyboard you have lots of keys, right? So every key will be having a unique ASCII value. So normally ASCII range starts from 0 to the number which is 127. So what we'll do is we'll try to print all the ASCII values. Is it possible to print all the ASCII values? Mm, let's see. So let's start with a for loop because we want to print all the values. So we'll say int, so initial value of i will be 0. So I want to print from 0 to 125. So I will use a for loop. I will say i equal to 0. Since we are mentioning it is 0 here, we, cannot, we, don't, we don't require to mention there. We'll go till 127. So we'll say equal to 127 and then i++. And what if, if I print, if I say print f, I say print f and here I will say percent d space comma i. So if I print all the integers and if I run this you can see we are getting all the integers here. Cool. But we don't want to print integers. We want to print characters. Right. So what we'll do. Should I print in a new line? How will that look like? Okay, let's see if, if I give slash t. Now slash t will give you a tab big space. So if I run this, you're, you're getting a big tab space here. Okay, so now what I will do here, let me also print, let me print this instead of person d, let me print in person c format. So if I print this in person c format and see the magic, you're able to see all the characters. Is it visible? So this is 0. Oh, it's not 0. Okay, so it's not printing the top some some values. And what are those values? We'll also print a num particular number for that. So we'll say person D and we'll give one more I. So the first I will print the number. The second I will print the value. So if I say run this. So you can see for 0 it's not able to print, for 1 it's not able to print. I guess for 3 it is heart shape. So these are your uh, card symbols. So the, we have heart, we have diamond, all those things. And we have something, maybe some new line here. Uh, so the main thing which is visible, it starts from here. So 23 is exclamation, then we have double quotes. You can see from 65 we have capital A, 66 is B. 67 is C, it goes on till 90, so 90 is your Z. Then we again start with some special characters, then from one, no, from 97 we have small a, it goes till 122 which is small z, and then we have some, some characters and that's the end. Let's try to print till 129, let's see if, do we have any special symbol after that. Yeah, so. Uh, 128, 129, they are giving us some numbers. What are these numbers? So let me print, what, uh, let me print 256 or 255. Let's see what happens here. Now if I print all those values, it is only printing the numbers. Now why we are getting numbers is because this ASCII value is the base system of 127 or 128 base system, which simply means the last number of this base system is 127. If you go beyond 127, the next number is 200. Okay, so I hope you know the number, uh, this, what you say, number system. So we have binary system, we have decimal system. In the same way, we have 128 base system. So if you go beyond 128, you will get uh, 200. Or 127, you will get 200. So that's how you print all the ASCII values. So we can print ASCII values till 127. And this was the output we got in the video. Okay, so this is your output. So that's it. That, that's how you have to print ASCII values. So thanks, thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.